Hey guys, Santon here again, uh, coming to you with uh, Hugo by Hugo Boss. This is Hugo Iced, uh, which is a Uri toilet, uh, one of a much uh, reasonably priced designer uh, product here. So uh, when I went to uh, do my fragrance uh, shopping or fragrance haul or uh, fragrance discovery, um, I saw this being priced quite reasonably. Um, I got this 75 milliliter unit toilet for about uh, US dollar 55, all right. But bear in mind, of course, if you go for online retailers, discounters, and depending on your country and taxes, uh, your prices may vary. But generally, it's accepted that this is a very well priced uh, product, okay. And uh, to get one thing out of the way, a lot of people are confused about the silver desert flask type of uh, bottle versus this cocktail shaker look. Um, uh, when I uh, looked around, I think the earlier versions of this uh, used that silver colored uh, flask type of design, but the newer uh, bottles are coming in the cocktail uh, bottle shape. So uh, I, I think uh, generally if you look at the bottle, you see the outline, you can see in the bottle itself whether this is the one or not. So, um, and when I check the ingredients also, it's the same thing, right? So I believe they just changed the container, maybe for cost reasons or whatnot. Um, basically, it's got straightforward uh, note construction, quite a simple note construction. It starts off the top with uh, mint and tea, followed by orange and juniper and with a base of vetiver, right? So nothing too complicated. Uh, price is reasonable. Um, so this is a kind of a thing that you want to wear for very, I don't know uh, how to put it, uh, probably uh, low low priority events, low priority activities, okay? And uh, it's surprising how many people consider this to be a very good gym fragrance because one, its uh, price is very reasonable. Number two, it has a very fresh kind of a feel, right? Uh, first thing I thought when I smell this is toothpaste, you know, because I my toothpaste, lots of them come with the whole mint put in a... Um, what do you call it uh, ingredient inside it so uh, usually I associate that with someone who just came you know brushing their teeth and and, and then in the morning so if you want to give up that vibe uh, I think you can uh, go for it but to me it doesn't scream exclusivity or polish or it doesn't uh, excite me so much all right so um, of course products like uh, the YSL Lanui de Loam or um, what's the other one uh, Jiwanshi Boise uh, those things smell to me more exclusive sophisticated that I might want to wear for more formal situations but these are all just you know uh, these are great for like very very casual hyper casual uh, kind of stuff gym and so on I definitely agree the longevity seems to really vary uh, you know uh, from like let's say one hour to uh, there are people who claim to have four or five hours I guess that depends on your skin as well as the weather that you're exposing the perfume to so would I regularly use this I I, I, hmm, I don't really think so guys uh, this probably won't be my regular go-to uh, perfume but anyway it's interesting to just explore this uh, reasonably priced uh, product okay so for those you guys who might be having some um, tightness in your budget and uh, uh, or you want to you, you need a perfume for a uh, you know low-key activities or uh, you want you want to use it for uh, you, you want a perfume for uh well, you, you might want a sophisticated perfume, but maybe you don't have much cash. I think there are still other alternatives, you know, compared to this. So I, 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 I don't really recommend this. I'm not sure. I'm, uh, maybe if, if you have different view, you can comment on it. But I don't think this is a great uh, formal wear or office uh, perfume. I don't really see it doing that. Okay. Gym, yes, definitely. It will work there. So I don't run too long. Uh, my conclusion, I give this... Uh, I don't know, 1.5 to 2 out of 5 because I, the, the smell is nothing special to me at all. It's either toothpaste or the mint tea that you get in certain restaurants. Nothing, nothing, uh, nothing very special, right? So with that, I sort of wrap up my uh, review of this uh, uh, Hugo Boss bottle iced. Alright guys, uh, take care. Uh, give your comments in the feedback section. Bye-bye.